Hello again guys, here is Andrew Henry talking to you from my channel Art Devs. In the previous episode we have spoken about how to make line art, how to make your line art look like anime. I can do line art, so what should I do? Line art, my line art so bad, so what should I do? In this episode we are going to talk about drawing line art at clip paint we have mentioned before that our major problem with drawing line art is that it's a connection between your mind your hand and the nerves and muscles across your arms to your hand from the shoulder to your hand from your mind to your hand well as for drawing in a software you already should have mastered drawing on paper i don't encourage you to try to draw directly on a software or a graphic pen tablet. It's not gonna support you and you're not going to get a professional results. So try directly to draw on paper first. Every artist support my so it's, so you should try this. According to the many videos I have said or mentioned before, when you start to draw Building the mass is very important and very effective. As you've seen, why I'm, I have draw, I'm drawing flash front few guys. I've started by, with building a mesh. After I have started with the mesh on a on another layer, I just add a loose line, building and building the mass, then setting your loose lines. I superly and totally encourage you to try this first on paper pencils and papers colored pencils you should have first knowledge of anatomy it's very important and very effective to do so to have some knowledge of anatomy please watch my previous videos to understand what i'm telling how you can build an, a mess and how you can draw loose lines. I'm adding some lines to this quickie flash portrait, but I'm not satisfied with the final results. It's like you a retro style of drawing flash. So I'm going to draw again his face and show you the result after I have, after I have built the mesh on a grey grey mesh and adding lines to it and adjusting those line art to my taste. When you notice that when I'm drawing an edit of inks, when there is a line inside the shape crossing over other mass, the line should be thick. If the line is facing the air or doesn't have any surface or mesh near it, so it will have to be thin. Okay. Measure this rule to anything if you're drawing and anything of inking comics you have already seen or watched. So I have made the loose lines, made it lower the opacity, now I am adding the major lines of the character. You will notice that there are some thick lines inside eyebrows, those are the lines that are meeting another line of the nose and some completion complex of the nose. So I had to add thick line to this. While you will notice the nose from up there is kinda got soft lines, thin lines, while below lower got thick lines because it's near the mouse. You can always download, download and get your favorite brush type or create your own when you reach an expert level while losing clean paints. But I prefer this kind of brush because it reminds me of the sharpie pens I use to ink with. As I've mentioned before, I have stopped inking traditionally because this stuff doesn't 
we don't get fine stuff, fine art equipment at my country anymore. So I had to move to digital inks. Well, as for your ability to move through left and right with the drawing, there is a couple of trainings and workouts which you have, I will tell you about in the next episode. As this episode is about inking, making your lines in clip paints, and moving this line art to Photoshop for coloring. I'm making a couple of videos that I've mentioned before about how to make your line art, how to make a professional line art. So if you got any questions, or got any wondering question in your mind, or want to ask for any tips, please post in the comment section or send me on my social media links. So we are going to move this drawing to the Photoshop. So we're going to skip a little bit of the inking and move through directly to the Photoshop and complete our understanding how to color your artwork. It's not too complicated, not so complicated as many of you think. It's very easy, but you'll have to try first and fail. Try and fail. Try and fail. Well, moving to Photoshop so we can color our image. Well, as you can see here, is, oh, we got our line art on a transparent layer. Uh, you can change this layer type to multiply. As you see now, the line art I have combined it on a lay on another layer, white layer. So when I add colors, it can be shown. That why is this? Why? Because it's full layer with full color, full white color on it. So I will have to make the layer onto multiply. Okay. Well, I'm trying to see another what thing about in front of you guys to show you that. It doesn't work if you color on your own color line art directly. You'll have to make another layer to do to do the colors. Okay. When you do this, you must notice that the line art layer should be, if, if it got white or, or colored in the background, it should be multiplied. If it doesn't have, it's, just, it's only line art on transparent layer, you can just color on a layer beneath it. On the both sides, you will have to color beneath it, okay? So, how to color your line art there is many ways for us artists, for us comic artists, illustrators, to color our line art. As you've seen, I can't just directly color on those line art layers because it doesn't look very well. We got, we got some scratchy white lines inside the artwork. So you'll have to make a new layer for this. Completing my words, as there is many ways to color your artwork as traditional or digital. While both separate into colors and gray tones, we can name many watercolors for the traditional cuts, painting, cell shades, markers, oil painting, and many other. We're going to study now coloring the flash line art with just cell shades so I love cell shade and already got flash look into kinder anime and cartoonish look so I'm going to add some tones and adjust those tones to you guys 
as I am aiming for the best color tones. Remember, always remember to set your lines on multiply if you got white colors. If you got white colors on the background, blue, yellow, whatever you got, or you even got the wrong drawing you have, you want to color it, you have to move this layer type into multiply. You, you have to make the line are transparent. There is many ways to do so, but now I am going to give you the very first steps on how you can adjust your line art. As you have now seen now I have duplicated the layer of the colors so I can compare them between the light right and the shadow colors, the light colors and the shadow colors. I'm trying to aim for the best results. It doesn't have a rule. The cell shade cuts colors doesn't have a rule. It's not like the shadow of white is black, the shadow of blue is, pur is purple. It's it's not like that. It's not it's it's about how to make the final better light. Now I'm using this tool tool to get those shadows cut that cut out my drawing heading and separating those light sources from my flash. Adding some lights to the nose. I don't know if I'm going to share this file with you guys, but I think I'm going to keep it from keep it for now and share it later. Maybe if I got some. If you want to get these colors for the show file, I'm going to share it and edit online. Now I'm adding some shadows between the nose and the mouth. Moving some shadows from the mask again. You can notice that the line art have changed from the inks I have already been showing you. This is because I have adjusted the line art a bit while I didn't record it. Because as the page says, line art is never finished, it's only abandoned. So if I return to this image again and go into F some more refined slits. If I left it, return to it again, I'm going to more refined again. So, sometimes you leave the artwork only abandoned so you can move to another artwork or, or move on to your life. I used to make the shadow and the light layer an overlay color, but when I have been talking to Chase, uh, Chase Connelly about this, he did, he's told me it's not a rule. If you are in a hurry and want to do some animations, we do it that way. But if you do a single uh, single drawing, single painting, if you can go single character design, you just do do the colors on a normal layer. It's harder this way and it makes your mind get used to the anime and cartoonish colors they all always make while in the shows. 
Now I'm adjusting the colors to my taste to give it more crimson red. Adjusting the shadows, I'm not satisfied with the end. So I'm returning to the base colors. We got those two questions already asked. As for the question about Photoshop line art, Photoshop line art, you have to first to download brushes to Photoshop, and I don't encourage you to try directly on Photoshop on drawing on Photoshop. For me, I think Photoshop doesn't fit us as artists, as comic artists. So you will have to try the Clip Paint Studio. It's more effective to comic artists and I see it more amazing more professional done for us artists so keep this in mind while you are trying to adjust your lines but of course you'll have to draw first in, on paper to learn how to control your hand before you just set your loose lines and fail on the graphic pen tablets I'm making some overlay lines to make highlights to my flash portrait here adjusting it same again to my taste it's about experimenting more than anything else so you have to try here and there, but you'll have to know many ways to do so. If you know many ways to do a single thing, how to color, they all together will help you to get to a great result in the end. Now I'm adding a lighten layer to show you what I mean. How you like it is in sun or something and maybe I'm going to add some shadows later beneath it now I'm adjusting the eyes making some glow give it the anime look Showing you the back, black background to show you what I mean and make the colors appear more. Now I'm adding a multiply purple layer, dark purple layer to make it just the layers, just the painting, and just the drawing as I see fit. Well. Thanks again guys for watching, if you got any more questions or would like to ask about anything just post in the comment section, send me on my social media, please remember to subscribe as I'm going to have more questions answered about line art, how to make line art sketch, why my line art is so pixelated, some fixing some line art errors and many other stuff. Please subscribe stay for more stay safe and send me i'm waiting for your messages many thanks again and goodbye